Child, please. Thank you for coming back to the channel. You know where you're at. You already know what's going down. What's trending today is hotter than a jalapeno pepper or a jalapeno pepper that you don't swallow two or three times and it's just coming out your asshole, burning you, giving you hemorrhoids. Lord have mercy. Close the gates, shut the door because we got something to talk about today, Lord. Yes, Nicole Murphy. You know the one that was married to Eddie Murphy? Yeah. That was dating Michael Stranzen. Didn't quite make it to the alt, but they were engaged. Wonder what happened. We got this little punk of a man treating Miss Leela like, I don't know, trash. Eddie Murphy knew what he had. Like, I don't have my babies with her. She milking me dry. I got to get rid of her. I got to drop her off at the nearest bus stop. Okay. Yes, Lord. You know, she was with Ed Murphy for a long time. She was with um, Michael Strands for maybe a year or so. Thought she was getting married. So now she thought about stealing other people's husbands. Now, I don't know if she stole them or Leela and what is her name? Good Lord. Antoine. Is having an open marriage. I don't know. But the girl, yes, was slim, trim, and ready to damn. You know, dip and damn. That's the word I just made up. I was trying to rhyme, but it didn't work out right. It didn't go right. It didn't go right. All right. But we know her from Waiting to Excel. One of Bernadine, Bernadine's friends from Whitney Houston. You know that Waiting to Excel movie. They got every black woman in their feelings and was going to just tear up their husband. When he wanted to cheat. Now we know she kind of lost her figure. Kind of got a little, you know, weight on her. Well, now she ain't a slim and trim like she once was when she got married to that old punk Antoine. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to be for better, for worse, for sickness and health. Okay. It should have been fat or slim. Should have been. Maybe we need to rewrite the laws. I don't know. And then maybe she's having some depression issues. We don't know what's really going on. Why her weight has ballooned Making her, I guess, unattractive to her ex-husband. But Michael said he didn't want to call. Eddie stayed with her as long as possible. And he had to dip out. Okay? But in the article that I read from Madame Minor, or Madame, what is it? Madame Minor magazine, Nicole came out the woodwork since she saw herself and her supposedly a uh, whore of a man or a husband uh, cheating and she wanted to make the record clear that they were just friends he showed up where she was and they were just having a friendly get together but as you can see that ain't nothing but a hot ass Jezebel a garden tool of a hoe okay she don't mess around got caught up with somebody else's husband I'm like is this the way Antoine is telling his wife Leela that he don't want her no more is he doing a Carmelo Anthony type thing or a Shannon Brown type thing? I'm telling women, ooh, y'all need to go straight to the uh, courthouse file and take them jokers for everything they got. Because if they're going to be dis this disrespectful in public, okay, knowing every paparazzi is out there, when you think you're not being seen or you think you're not being known, them the ones that come after you real hard. I mean, if you're going to do this kind of Foolery, uh, fooling around, do it in private. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, honey, Nicole is looking like a poor side chick, a side chick with benefits. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if Michael Strands didn't want her, Eddie Murphy didn't want her after so, so many years, okay? It just was, it just was what it was, but now you're going to be a home wrecker. And I fought him because he the one took vows. He the one that's still married. I mean, let us know. Is Leela okay with this situation? Is she okay with you dating and, and, and going around town kissing on uh, Nicole Murphy? Is it in? Let, let a sister know. Because then I have to retract everything. So, okay, y'all just got an open marriage. But y'all go to hell. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't right. He ain't no king. We ain't in no country where he can have so many different wives as long as he got the income to keep them in the wealth that they're accustomed to. You see what I'm saying? But now this man got a full-blown out family. He already had a child by somebody else. And then they end up having two kids together. So I understand. What went wrong? Is it because she got fat and you just got disinterested in her? You know, was it just a physical attraction you had with Lily? I, I don't understand. 
I mean, Leela, I call her Lily, but anyway, Leela, is it because, tell me, is it because she gained weight? Are you that disinterested in her? Is the weight pretty much what threw you off that, that you felt like you had to go outside your marriage and cheat? I mean, sister want to know. Sister have questions. I need answers, okay? But that was my slide, boy. I'm going to get on into this article. Yes, that was written by Victoria Umongo. Oh, man, you Mung Jory. I ain't going to mess up the last name, but we're going to say Miss Victoria. She kicked off this story that she wrote. I'm sure she's a staff member for Madame New York. Yes, okay. Dot com, but it's the magazine. Y'all know, get into it. Get some culture about yourselves. But it reads, Nicole Murphy says she and Antoine Fuqua are just family friends. I mean, we lock lips like that. We caravan, get so close up to where there is no room to breathe. We get that caught up in a friend. No, I don't think so, Nicole. So you already lying. You're a, 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 what do you call it? A mistress, hoe, garden tool, I like to say, that you use out in the garden tool. That's what she is, a little hoe running around there. She's just a bill. Uh, uh, breaking up a marriage. Home wrecker, anything else we can pretty much call her, y'all think of it and just add it while I'm giving y'all my spiel. Okay, but it goes on to say, or someone had said, do you kiss your friends on the mouth? Girl, please, that uh, that ain't no kiss, that's locked lips and loaded for something else to go on after that caressing of kissing they were doing. This was like tongue on tongue. He's swallowing her cum, all her saliva, and she's doing the same. That's throat action. That's kissing throat action is what they got going on. There ain't no friendly peck. And then you wouldn't kiss your uh, friend on the mouth. You would kiss him on the forehead or on the cheek, okay? On the hand if you had to, okay? Keep it friendly. Keep it above the waist, okay? But no, she's been kissing on a lot, okay? And it might not just have been them lips, all right? According to Nicole Murphy, she does, or at least that's her explanation for what was going on in those photos of her with director Antoine Fuqua. Now, my sidebar, before I continue reading this article that this young lady wrote up, the eyes we have, we see. Okay, we don't need to uh, read. We can see. That tells it all. We know what a friendly kiss looked like. We know what a friendship kiss looked like. And then we know what a, hey, I'm into this man. He going to marry me and divorce you. And that's just how it's going to be. But just know for sure, karma is a mug. Yes, it is. It comes when you least expect it. It may not hit you directly. It may hit you indirectly where it affects somebody you love. Or it might affect your kids. You just never know. Because right now you are swimming in a pool of incest. And it's just terrible that you would do another woman. And especially a black woman, the way you did her, okay? But like I said, if I got it all wrong, prove it to me. Come out and say y'all just swingers like Monique and her husband. They have an open marriage. She ain't scared to say it. That's what she do. That's how she get down. So I ain't got nothing to say to her. If any story roll up and say her husband, Sydney was uh, going around town, trotting around, trolling with some woman. Well, I can't say that because Monique might be at the house with somebody. You know, they got it like that. But this wasn't said. So it must not be down and and, and around town with Leela because it was told on a hush hush that she disabled all her social media accounts because she didn't want to see it. She didn't want to look at it and she definitely didn't want to ask no questions about it. So that means she didn't know. OK, but getting back to the article, it says as previously as previously shared to the confusion of many Murphy 51 and Fuqua. 53 was spotted in Italy over the weekend looking quite cozy together. They look like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich all smashed up with each other. Between each other, please. <sighs> Not in the article. That was my side point. Okay, going back to the article, it says they were reportedly both in town for the Ischia Global Festival where Fuqua is said to be honored. In the paparazzi photos, they could be seen hanging out in the pool and sharing a kiss. And Fuqua was shirtless and in trunks while Murphy was in a bikini. There was more than one photo of the pair locking lips, which left social media fully flabbergasted. Since Fuqua is married 
to actress Leela Rashawn, Rashawn, 55, and has been since 1999. That's about 20 plus, 25 plus, 26 years, man. Okay. When Fuqua and Rashawn had deleted their social media pages to avoid all of the tension over those photos and the behavior in them, Murphy has put out a statement and says, folks, have it all wrong. Girl, they said picture was worth a thousand words and we are speechless, okay? Because we see it all, honey. You trying to say that wasn't you in that photo? Is that what you're trying to say? Because that's the only way you can be cleared up. Because we saw enough lip action and body language to give us a quite sincere uh, opinionated opinion to suggest that y'all fooling around. Y'all messing around. Y'all are nothing but Crappy people, okay? But anyway, that was my pond, my sidebar, my spiel that I was going through with this article, okay? Antoine and I are just family friends. She told Love B. Scott exclusively. I ran into him in Italy and we exchanged a friendly hello and that was it. Honey, what were you saying in French terms? Okay, the Italian, the way of locking lips. Is that your way of saying hello and goodbye in the same tone? Girl, please. <sighs> it certainly looks like a lot more than old friends catching up, but that's her story and she's sticking to it. She better was she better off, but she was better off not saying anything. Okay. Let the story just speak for itself and she just hide out. She looking just like a Jezebel, a whore Babylon, a whore Los Angeles. Okay, I can't. She's a whore. All right, but going back to the article, it says, as for what could be going on between Rakan and Fuqua, it's unclear the status of their relationship. As a source who spoke to people told the publication that the two were like they were still married. In direct opposition to possible separation rumors, the source, source said they were both together a few weeks ago and their sons at their son's basketball game and looked like a happy uh, or a happy married couple. Now, you know, looks can be deceiving, and sometimes you can just be putting on airs for the people on the outside, not for the people that are living in the house and not seen through the windows, okay? We can always put that united front up when we go out, but then when we go in, we living in separate rooms, we live in separate lives. I don't have my ring, you don't have on your ring, and I don't know, it just seems like that's the status quo. For a lot of people, people that are just getting away from the traditional marriage and they are doing what they want to do, which is the sinful nature of this world. OK, that's why I know mm -mm, we come into a close of this chapter of our lives because it's just too much, too much going on. OK, we're going back to the article. We got it saying um, she was wearing her ring. Mina Lily was wearing her wedding band and they seemed perfectly happy. The source added. The couple shared two children, daughter Asia, 16, and son Brando, 15. Fuqua has a son from a previous relationship named Zachary. Also, Hollywood Unlocked found that Fuqua also has another son named Romain, or Roman, born the year prior to Brando's birth and a year after Asia. Within the years, uh, see what I'm saying? Within the years of the marriage to rock on. So this nigga... Excuse me, Lord, I ain't want to call that. Scratch that out. Rewind. Okay? But that brother of a no good son of a mother, okay? He been fooling around on Lily a lot. Okay? Lily, take a page out the old divorce book, honey. He is a player. He wants to do what he wants to. You telling me, from reading what I just read... During your marriage, she had two other kids, okay? When y'all was supposed to be married, all right? Evidently, he don't mind bringing any kind and every kind of disease home to you. Because if he's having children, that means he's having unprotected sex, okay? So I don't know if you know about it and you're just ashamed about it. You don't care about it, you know? But it seems like you do care and maybe he's depressing you. And that's why... It's a, a big turn from how you're looking uh, physically. You were once slim and trim and had it going on, okay? And I know it gets hard because, you know, I'm on the fluffy side myself, all right? And, and, and things go left and you just tend to eat 
uh, emotionally because other things are going on. Or you just might just be just not in tune with what's going on in your body because you're stressed out. This man got you stressed out. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully prayers and blessings go up to you and your family. And I'm like, if this man is really seeing all these women outside the marriage and these women don't know how to stay and play their part as being a mistress, seen, not seen, not heard, but they get checked on here and there. But these women that's on the side that's playing the field of the other woman or whatnot and trying to take the main spot of the married woman, they ain't got no boundaries. They ain't got no respect. So I'm like, this is just awful. Awful to hear. Awful to see. But girl, I'm like, honey, if you've been keeping tabs or whatnot and you haven't been doing no infidelity, take that brother to court and milk him for all he got. And then when he don't have no money in his bank account or he's still coming up somehow in the red, when it's the milk was flowing real well, uh, then he's going to really think, why is he doing what he's doing? You know what I'm saying? But I would make it amicable. I would make it so amicable for him. I was like, you know, look, I ain't going to be greedy. I ain't going to be mean. Just give me 26 plus years worth of finance. Because, uh, yeah, I let my career go because I wanted to raise our kids in the best possible light. And out of the industry of entertainment, uh, yeah, I'm too old to, uh, excuse me, try something else other than what I used to love doing was acting. But since, you know, maybe he told her he wanted her to be the housewife, the trophy wife, and then she just kind of let herself go because she knew she had this man blocked, stopped, and Meryl. You know what I'm saying? She had his heart. She had his mind. And she had his support and love as a husband. And he was supposed to provide for her as well as take care of her and love her fruitlessly. You know what I'm saying? But he lied. He did that old dirty, dirty dog thing. Okay? So I think he must be taught a lesson. And that's just my take on it, Lily. But if it's like y'all have an over marriage, then I would draw everything I said. I misspoke. I apologize. I said in third. But honey, if it's not, girl, please. I would not be having anything else to do with him because it seems like he does like going low uh, and spreading it wide. Okay? And that's not, uh, no. No, no. We can't do that. We cannot do that. <laughs> Not in these days and times, how we got diseases out there that are not curable. I mean, he ought to be slapped up the crack of his head all the way down to his booty hole. Just slapped and pinched and prodded and, and everything. Because that's a hot mess, doing such a sweet lady like you, the way he done did you, girl. <gasps> I had enough of this uh, article, and I wish Lily well. Take my advice. Go on and do what you got to do, girl. And sit and be pretty and go find you somebody in your uh your latter years that you can be happy with. Because evidently this man is 53. He's hit he's has hit a midlife crisis. Okay. He don't hit a midlife crisis. And just as quick as um Nicole done spun in his life when she finds somebody else that got a little bit more dollars to spend in. She going to be done dropped him like a bad habit and moved on to the next victim. Okay. And then leaving him ass out. But it just gives me a tease of a married, um, um, what do you call it? A mad, what is it? A mad, that black diary. You know that movie, that movie Tyler Perry had made. So I can't think, I cannot get the name together right now while I'm recording this video. But the Tyler Perry movie where this girl had married a lawyer and he kind of had her estranged from estranged from all her family members. He just wanted her as a trophy wife to look good, have his babies and all that. And then he'd go out and do what he wanted to do with other women. So he felt like he wanted to replace her. The internal events came where he was kind of... Uh, deemed handicapped because of the incident that happened to him. Unfortunately, but fortunately, incident that happened to him because he was treating her so wrong. And a woman that he was trying to make another life with, that he was going to divorce his wife that did everything for him and was there for him from the beginning. 
She left him, took all his money and everything, child. Took every last dime and leave him with nothing. Diaries of a Mad Black Woman. I think that's what the name of the movie was. And that's a tease that this man is giving me that's doing to you, girl. Mm, 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 mm. But that's all I have for this pitiful, pitiful video of a show of a hot mess, okay? Like, what in the sand hill is this man doing? What is he doing? And then on top of but he ain't really say nothing. He just disabled his accounts along with Lee, Leela. And then you got old crazy Nicole out there windmilling and, and, and telling a story that making her look stupid and making her look just like a poor whore out there messing with a married man, tearing up somebody's family. Girl, go away. Go away. But that's all I had, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to Thumbs up mean like my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And definitely share my videos. And as usual, and as always, if I got breath in my body, the Lord wake me up. I'll come to you with another video uh, real soon, okay? Child, take care. Be blessed and good night.